Hello everybody, this is Haven's Homestead, and we're back at the Easy Build Hoop Coop. And this thing is something special. This is going to be the third one I built, and I tell you what, I enjoy it more and more each time. I learned from my mistakes as last time, and each time I try to make and improve a better quality with less weight and better uh, uh, strength. Alright. As you can see earlier today, we did this beautiful uh, rolling, it's called a rolling chicken laying box. And it's by Homestead Essentials. And what you do is, it goes more, you built it on a tilt. So, when they're in their nesting... And they lay their eggs, they all roll to the lowest point right here. So you don't have to get them out. But if you wanted to pull them out, you just lift up right here. And you got to pull at the same time. You can pull them out, clean them or whatnot, whatever you want to do. Very good quality. Very positive quality. I really like this thing. I mean, I was going to build my own. But these things are solid. Stainless steel and, and solid uh, uh, plastic material. Good ventilation. This thing is, you know, at first I was like, man, my sister bought it as a gift, so I mean, I can't deny it. All right, they're getting to the hay before I can do it. I like to let the hay sit out for four or five days to get the urine out. I cover it with a tarp when otherwise. And then, then I put it around the trees. And then they come in, they scrape it and get all the bugs. Right now they're getting all the good bugs out of it. And eventually I put it around all the trees again. They come and mulch it all up and leave their poop and break it down into compost. Enough about them. My other two coops are way over there. We're working on this door right now, so I'm going to get back to it. All right, I'm going to set y'all up with my healthy tripod. Good helper right here. Always oh, here for it. Did you, what the heck you doing, man? Huh, you gonna help or you just gonna sit there? He said you gonna help. Where you going? Where you going now? Now you gonna run away from us? Son of a buzzle. Hard to get good help around here. Alright, let's see if we can set you up and get to work. See how this looks. Can't see nothing. It's a little better. Not really. Can you do something better for it? Can you make it any better? Let's see. Say you can, you can't get this stable. Alright, a lot of editing, not a lot of editing is gonna be needed in this video. Alright, so uh, these are the hinges. I was doing like a door like this on my last two builds, and I liked it, but like yeah when the birds fly it they're like <laughs> all out cool and stuff but the only bad part about it is trying to get them locked in to place that's the hard part because once you let that thing down they can get out from either angle right left any angle they want they can get out so I'm gonna go with the traditional open and shut door. That way I can better control the flow of chickens. Cause I tell you what, man, they're getting harder and harder to 
to chase down every day. All right, let's move this in my mind. Oh, great. No, put that right my way. Put that over there. Do your damn jobs, chickens. Turn that chicken stuff into, turn that dog stuff into some good viable subsidies. Some subsidies, this, 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 this. All right, let's see. All right. Nah, I guess I'm too far. But that's going to be good enough. Welcome to Haven Homestead. We're going to build the door to this easy build chicken coop. So, first off, I usually, on the other ways I did it, I wouldn't build the door first. But on this time, I'm going to build the door first. Let's see, I got some cut pieces. They're not perfect, but I'm going to just see what they look like in here. This one always gives me hell. This is a long piece. I gotta cut this piece. So, go ahead and mark it and tag it. Tag and bag it. I just seen it now. Oh, it's in my pocket. Good trooper. Hey, easy, chicken nugget, chicken nugget. Baby. 
Let's get the screw in, baby. Get your screw on. Where's my screws at? Where's my screws at? Hey, where's my screws at? They send these screws. We use real screws around here. You know where I put them. You know where I put my screws? Hey, you see my screws? All in the truck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being a friend. Holding my back and my hair when I was drunk. Oh, that's not the same. Never mind. Wrong time, wrong place. Woo! Easy in, easy out, baby. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. You just said my butt looks fat in these jeans. What did you say to me? Damn rooster. Don't be looking at it then. But I thought. I'm the only one bringing home the bacon around here. Damn poetry. I don't think so. We got the best hinges. Cause they all metal, baby. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what we done, man. You'd be able to open the chicken coop with this door. <laughs> chicken in distress, chicken in distress. Where's Batman when you need him? A penguin. Where's my penguin at? Pingy, pingy, wingy. Yeah, baby. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Now we gotta figure out a length of our pickle. I say we measure the board and cut it in half. Damn, that's one long eight foot board right there, boy. I tell you what, that board is darn long. <laughs> so you wanna split this? Ten footer, just like I'm gonna show you a little trick of how to measure this. First you split the 10 footer just like that. Then you put the eight footer and you lay it on top of that, just like that. Now this is the most important part. Then you get a tape measure. <laughs> a tape measure. You're gonna use both half of these for the door. So no use to trying to guesstimate the measurement. All you're gonna do is have to make twice as many cuts. 
So first you check your length of your, ta of your board. And I got eight foot and eight foot and a half inch. Eight foot and a half inch is what we got there, man. Or 96 and a half inch, no, 96 and a half inches. So half a 96, half a 90 would be 45, half a 6 is 3, so it would be 48, let's make sure, 48 times 2, 8 and 8, 16, 6 goes down there, 1 goes up there, what number do we start with, 18 and 2, so then that would be a 2 going into that 1 would be 2 and then a 3 comes in there. What the hell's going on here? What am I doing? Okay. I feel stupid now. It's 96 and a half inches. So that would be 45 plus 3 and, three and a quarter inches. So 45 plus 3 and a quarter inches. But there you kill her! Hey! Get off of her! That's so stupid of me, man. What a crooked ass cut.
bullshit. What is wrong with my shit? Uh, it's the operator, dude. Pissed up, man. Perfect. Perfect link. At first you don't succeed, try trying to your back break. That's the dog, what y'all think? Y'all with me still? Oh my bad swearing. Oh my bad. Let me be that big thing. That's the first one you want to put in is the one that's going straight across. It's only one in there. As soon as you got that one right, everything else will come into place perfectly. Before you put the rest in. What y'all doing, players? See, this thing's always bent. I don't know why they're always bent like that. They're always bent. Never fear.
straighten the rest of them out easy. See, this is where it gets kind of tricky. So if you stand there, kind of line them up the best you can. Put it right into it, baby, baby! Woo! Make this homestead, baby. I bet you them hunters are mad at me. under it, prop it up enough, you can get your jack in there, your jack, your drill. Booyah! You could never get this done with their drills. I mean, with their screws, it would take forever. Bam, baby! Woo! Thank you, Lord. Be grateful for what you got. There's always somebody out there who's got it worse. I count all my blessings. God has blessed me. Constantly. Every morning I wake up, it's a blessing from God. Because tomorrow's not promised to anybody. All we can do is eat right. Try to take care of our families. Doesn't matter. That's the door. Oh, and my back is haunting. Nice door, kid. My sister will leave you a link on where she got it from. But it sure helps a lot. It makes it look real nice, too. So, I'm probably going to do, i put a step up in there. So, it's a little higher. I need a marked center point. That right there is what I think. So I'm gonna put a little mark and then I'll measure it off.
Dirty dirt. Thirty-seven and a quarter. So I could burn. So I'm an inch and three quarter. Uh, an inch and. A quarter, an inch and a quarter over. So that means I need to move it three quarters that way and three quarters this way. I'm just gonna move it uh, three quarters. Now, I can put a board which is going to lock this board in place, which is going to give it a lot more support, but it's going to make everything weigh a lot more. Hey! The hell y'all doing? Easy! Thirty-six and three-quarters. Making it look good around here. No scraps long enough, damn it. You want to look at, you want to cut off your shitty again.
liking it, dog. Mm. I'm gonna try to straighten this up. Sorry, I didn't move the camera. We're building the door part. That's all right. Easy to build, chicken coop. Hoop, coop, baby, baby. All right. I didn't get myself enough slack, so I'm going to have to cut this to get it in there. Which I hate that. I guess I could get it in there without cutting it. I'm just gonna have to bang the shit out of it. With one of these long bezels. Hopefully I ain't gonna cut this thing. I guess I should check before I put the last screw in, huh? Probably. Damn boy. Damn boy, that's on fire boy. That's on point boys. There's one of them, baby. Swing pitch, baby, baby. Woo! Continue. Quality check always on my butt. Making me stop double checking stuff. But you want a good product? You need multiple eyes. This was 
was a little different. I got it farther back to catch that side. That one wouldn't let me go all the way back, but it's all good because I put an angle dangle on that langle. You know what I'm saying? And still caught it like a poo. Caught like a poo. Bizzles. Now I need to stack vertically, vertically, vertically. Got to get the shit to dirtily, for sure to leave. So I need to go grab some more eight footers, baby. Eight footer happiness. <laughs> Gonna do the poke and scope over here, man. Poke and scope. Shut your tangly langly tangly tangly ears up. to hear it, man. Gotta hush it, hush it up, man. Bad, I'm not vertical. <laughs> see, I did that. You're gonna see in a minute why it was a total accident, but I'm gonna make it out like I did it on purpose. See there? You call skill. That's what you call them skizzles, man. 
them people call them skizzles, I call them skizzles. Cause you got them skills, buddy. What? Boy got skills on that skizzle. <laughs> you my cut, you honey. Me and my chicken cutting up. Oh, you son of a buzzle. Scared the ruckus out of me. He got them skills, so 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 straight kill stone, steel stone. We gotta do a little temporary lock in place. Not permanent. Like I said, it's temporary. Where I can get my top side. Whoa, baby! Now you just act a fool now. Everybody sees how you doing. Come on, man. You gotta be better than that, man. Why you so mad? Why you want to sound so upset? Oh, gee. What's wrong with you, big boy? You hunting wabby? All right. Let me check the inside. It right, looks like we're going to have to go out some more, but we'll see. We got 44 and a quarter.
dang it, another truck. I'm just gonna have to use a piece of wood to push it the rest of the way. I can put a piece in the middle to push it the rest of the way out. So I need This is not rocket science. It's very simple to do. Okay, I got 47 inches. I need 47 just to get it in that damn door. So I don't know what the hell it's talking about, 47. We need more than 47 just to get it in there. Dang it. Okay, this side's fine. This side's gonna have to come out some more. At least like that much.
God be an extremist. <laughs> Extremist racist dogs are coming to tell you. Whoa, we still good and going on an hour straight, people. I did it curved in right there on purpose. Cause last time I had it on the other way and the puppies, the little chicks would get stuck in between. That's why I know I'm not gonna have that problem. All right. Come on, Dora, let's get going. You can fit. What do you mean you don't wanna fit? No, you don't like the door? But I made it just for you. You know what, this piece of shit. Kind of tight. At the bottom, I would say. I guess I can lift it up but slightly.
If you can't put a screw in all the way around, then you ain't gonna be able to shut that door. Looks like I'm gonna be shaving this little piece off eventually. <coughs> or oh, I might just move this door for you out slightly. Fucked up before I put anything else in. None of these are gonna be running out. So I'm gonna have to cut a whole piece. I'm going to add a quarter of an inch to this. Make it four foot, and that way it stretches the uh, it pushes out, gives me more room.
like it. Let's roll with it. Hey, we got a door, baby. Of course, we got to play with a little bit. And then we got to put the main support all the way, which is the backbone of this thing. It needs to go all the way across. I need to loosen this up and adjust this slightly.
pas de truc. This is my steering bar. Oh shit! I never put this son of a bitch in. What the hell? That's crazy. I wonder if things are yankety dankety dunk 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 shunk. Jump. Now it all fell. Now the whole thing's whacked out. <laughs> God damn it, Bobby. God damn it, Bobby. Sorry if I'm a little sluggish, this is my third project today. On top of my normal chores that I have to do every day in the homestead. So, we're out before the sun comes up and we're, we're out when it goes to bed. That's that bomb life, baby, baby. You get back what you put in on the homestead. That's the most beautiful part about it. You get to see what you are accomplishing. difference already. Now this is the backbone. This is what they're all gonna perch on. And it's gonna help me tie in. It's gonna help me steer this thing. And it's gonna tie the back to the front. It's basically the spine. And it's a steering bar, too. Let me steer this bad boy. It's like a ship. You put wheels on it, you get this in the front and the back, and you can go pivot 360. Ain't no reason to work hard. Juju, what are you doing?
Peace. You just built something beautiful, man. The chickens are gonna love it. They love being up here on the top, and then when I put the lights out when it's bug season, man, the bugs come to the light. Stability's coming along. Now I gotta push this up and put a piece in between here. But it's getting a little bit too dark, so I think it's time to pick up for the day. I got a lot of dogs that needed we take care of. I got 11 dogs I gotta put up before I go to bed. I got to put them all up in their own little coops, and then I got to... The chickens all got water, and that they're all doing good. And I do all that before I go to sleep. I do all that in the morning before I do my first cup of coffee. God is good. Whoa, where'd the camera go, man? Great. Tell me I've been talking to myself. Okay. This is what we got so far, guys. Don't take long at all. This is their perch. If they all get crunk on, I gotta put, put support here, support in the middle, support over there. And then I gotta run little perches, little area. Then I gotta run all the wire to protect them. But this is our easy to build chicken hoop coop. Shit, I get like 40 birds in one of them. And they're younger. It's very easy to build. Step by step on my channel. We show you all the stuff that we learn. We're constantly researching on the best stuff to do for these chickens. What the best to feed them. How the best to house them. Everything to do with taking care of them to the fullest. Because they're all organic and they're going into our bodies and our dog's bodies. So we want the best out of them. We want to give them the best life possible while they're living. And that's why we built the easy to build chicken coops. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Next we'll wrap it with this, all oh, this wire. And then there's the lay baskets. I put that together today. You can come check it out. This came from Homestead Essentials. This is a rolling uh, 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 laying bed. All the eggs roll to right here, so you just pick them up, and they don't get no feces on them. Yeah, yeah, all of our bugs are, all of our chickens are drug free. No antibiotics, no nothing. We keep them all natural. And man, the oaks, the yolks are orange. It's insane. Well, that's about it, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm going to finish putting up my tools, getting everybody ready to go up for the night. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace! Every day we post videos. Every day. We got five channels and a new webpage. God bless y'all. Remember, through God, all things are possible. Haven's Homestead! Yay, yay!